Hello, welcome to Buy Great TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification button so you don't miss our next video. This is the biography of Tom Mboya. Thomas Joseph Odiambo Mboya was born on the 15th of August in 1930 at Kilimambogo, Kenya. He was a Kenyan political leader until his assassination on the 5th of July 1969, six years after his country gained independence. Tom Mboya's father, a Luo tribesman from Rusinga Island in Lake Victoria, was an employee at a European Sizzle estate. Mboya attended some mission schools and then stopped at a secondary level so his siblings could go to school. This was because his family had limited funds. Mboya later got enrolled at the Kenyan Medical Department for training as a sanitary inspector from 1948 to the year 1950. Mboya had his first practical political experience when he got elected into the student council at the Kenya Medical Department. After he left there, he worked in Nairobi as a sanitary officer, which was when he founded Kenya's local government workers' union, comprising of employees of the Nairobi City Council. Mboya became the general secretary of the union in 1953, maintaining the position for four years. His activities in union affairs caused some problems for him at work, so he stopped working as a sanitary officer. Mboya was impressed by Jomo Kenyatta's efforts in Kenya, hence he joined his political party, the Kenya African Union. He was one of the few African leaders who weren't detained during the Mau Mau Rebellion in Kenya. Mboya was the treasurer of the Kenya Africa Union until the year 1953 when the British banned the party. He became the General Secretary of the Federation of Labour from 1953 to 1963 when he got elected into the board of the International Confederation of Free Trade Unions and gained some fame among the European and American supporters of the Confederation. Mboya was a main supporter of the Mombasa Dock Strike of 1955 in which workers protested for a 33% pay rise. It was in this same year, 1955, that Mboya attended Ruskin College in Oxford for more study. When he returned from Oxford, he joined political activities immediately in the Kenya and got elected to the Legislative Council in 1957. In 1953, when Kenya gained her independence, Mboya became the Minister of Economic Planning and Development. He was still serving in this capacity when he got assassinated on the 5th of July in 1969. Here are some of his achievements. Mboya was a graduate of Mission School, which were some of the best during his time. He was a sanitary inspector in Nairobi. He was a key nationalist figure in the days of the Mau Mau Rebellion, led by the Kikuyu people against the European ownership of the land. From 1953 to 1963, he was General Secretary of the Kenya Federation of Labour, KFL, an admirably important post because no political African national organizations were allowed in Kenya until the year 1960. Omoya has leadership and oratory skills and was admired for it everywhere he went. He debated, gave speeches, was interviewed across the world. Mboya always spoke in favor of Kenya's independence from British colonial rule until it was achieved. Mboya spoke at many rallies in favor of the civil rights movement in the United States. In 1958, when Mboya was only 28 years old, he was elected conference chairman at the All Africa People's Conference convened by Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana. Mboya participated in the building of the trade union movement in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda and across Africa. He once served as the African representative to the International Confederation of Free Trade Union, ICFTU. In May of 1959, Mboya called a conference in Lagos, Nigeria to form the first All Africa ICFTU labor organization. Mboya worked with the late Senator John F. Kennedy of the United States, who later became President of the United States, and Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., to create educational opportunities in the United States for African students. In the year 1960, Mboya featured on the cover of Time magazine of the United States. He was the first Kenyan to achieve this. 
Omboya campaigned for Kenyatta's release, and this was achieved on the 21st of August in 1961. Omboya was appointed as the first cabinet minister for labor in the Independent Republic of Kenya. Mboya created the National Society Security Fund, which was Kenya's social security scheme. Mboya also established an industrial court to hear labor management cases. Mboya married Pamela Odede in 1960. They held their wedding at St. Peter's Clavers Church in Nairobi. They had five children, namely Maureen Odero, Dr. Susan Mboya, Luke Mboya, Peter and Patrick Mboya. After Mboya's death, Pamela had another son with her brother-in-law in accordance with the Lua tradition. They named the boy Tom Mboya Jr. in her late husband's honor. She later got appointed as an ambassador. Did you know some facts about Mboya? A statue of Mboya was set up on Moa Avenue where he was killed. A nearby street, Victoria Street, was renamed Tom Mboya Street in his honor. Mboya planned for the design of a Kenyan flag and was the brain behind the plan for Nairobi City. The suspected assassin responsible for Mboya's death, Nahashon Isaac Njenja Unjorogi, was tried and hanged. The assassin asked, what about the big man before he was hanged? Kenyans are yet to unravel that question. Mboya could speak six languages. What's your take on Mboya as a political figure? Let us know in the comment section below. Will it be so ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe.